Hello, everybody. We are talking about development of chess expertise. I made a series on this on YouTube, Climb Me the Rating Ladder, where I describe, analyze, and hypothesize about which skills are emerging in which order as you grow stronger in chess. What are the typical developmental patterns across rating ranges in chess? Answering this question has tremendous potential for us. First of all, to understand how expertise develops, but also to give much more specific guidance to my own students. This episode will be about opening or closing up the game. And how do you understand? How do you make that judgment properly? It's about strategic play. It's about understanding the gist of the position and how to play sharp positions where the kings have castled on opposite flanks, just like here in this position, black, around 1200 rating player, just below 1200 chess.com, looked at the kings on opposite flanks and understood. It seems like he understood the gist, the gist being opening up lines on the king's side. And he actually goes g5, which I was very happy to see this when I was looking at this game. I was like, oh, great. You know, this understanding is emerging already maybe before. 1200chess.com looks like a great move because if white takes twice black will open up the h file right it's a beautiful move because you will attack the enemy king it's all about timing in this position but after bishop g3 black made a chess crime can you believe can you guess black's next move folks yes the chess crime was g4 which was happening in the game and black voluntarily has closed down the king side and made the enemy king much 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 safer you see that's a totally a strategic mistake that is due to lack of understanding of the gist of the position and i was totally wrong when i thought that black understood the gist by going g5 it was a hoax because actually after g4 white is just so much better and look how white tweeted this position white was around 1200 chess.com and the skill is emerging around that rating range. Look at those kings. My king is so much more secure because of black's early move g4. There is no way for black to open up lines against my king, but my pawn storm is emerging and just starting. And can you guess the plan for white? Yes, I want you to formulate a plan for white. Yes, folks, a4 is coming, followed up with b5. White understood the gist in his position and open up lines. If black takes on b5, obviously rook b1, followed by rook a5, and I'm crashing you on the queen side, right? That's the gist. You want to activate your pieces by opening up lines. So b4, b5 is a move or plan that reflects the true understanding of such positions. And black collapsed in the actual game after it takes, takes, takes. White was so much extra material, plus take on f5. And you understand, right? White achieved a completely winning position. And here, my conclusion was this from the last example that this skill of knowing when to open up or close down the position emerges around 1200chess.com. This was what I said in that series. You can check the video over here. I will post a link here. And then, to my surprise, folks, I discovered this AI framework, deep learning framework called Maya Chess. It's open source. You can go and read their website. Maya Chess trained by looking at human games, and the idea is to predict human mistakes, right? AI is only trained by, on human data, what kind of mistakes are emerging in which skill level so that we understand what type of mistakes are recurring per level. The idea is, of course, is to create a nice, you know, enjoyable training partner for humans to play on different rating ranges. There are actually many, many such softwares recently. There's also one called Nocti, for example, from Scandinavia. So it's actually like a growing field, this, you know, uh, learning, deep, deep learning frameworks that feeds on human data. And in Maya Chess, they claim the same thing as I claim, folks. They claim this ability of opening up and closing down properly emerges around 1500 Lee Chess, which is around 1200 chess.com rapid. That was fascinating. For example, here, folks, it's white to play. I'm testing your skills. What should white do in this position? Maya thinks if you're below 1200 chess.com, then he will make a mistake in this position. And let's test your skills. I hope you went for the correct plan 
b takes a6 why because it's totally about the king's castling opposite flanks so the idea the goal should be to open up lines on the queen side for white correct so b takes a6 is a great move because things are opening up on the queen side for example yeah rook b1 just look at your rooks right you managed to open up lines for your pieces and look at the king on c7 this was your goal from the initial position white obtained a much better position by starting with b takes a6 but maya thinks if you're below 1200 chess.com or 1500 leeches then you will most likely go b6 in this position and after queen takes c5 black is very close to equality right b6 was wrong because you're closing down the queen side you're refusing you're missing the opportunity to open up lines for your pieces on the queen side that's exactly what my first position has taught us right this was my conclusion also from the first position and interestingly enough maya chess thinks humans will make such mistakes if they are below 1500 on lee chess or around 1200 chess.com so this is what's written in maya chess on their web page you can go and read this as well it's the same example right so stockfish cannot capture what kind of mistakes will be made on different rating level but maya claims that from starting from 1100 leeches all the way to 1400 leeches people will make a mistake by going b6 in this position but once they are stronger from 1500 they stop making this kind of mistake because they understand right that the main goal is to open up the queen side in a position like this interesting findings and obviously maya chess has looked at so many thousands hundreds and thousands of human games on Lee chess and the idea is to model what type of mistakes are recurring in different rating levels and this is fascinating personally right as a cognitive scientist to have some insights about the development of chess expertise just like in other skills in life right like humans we don't have full packet skills immediately we need to develop those skills right as, as, as children for example yeah, there are certain skills that are emerging in a certain order piaget for example did so many such tasks or uh, studies using human children to document the progress gradual progress of that skill and maybe that's actually interesting for us to have similar insights in terms of chess players progress because that will definitely give us chess coaches much more directed advice or options to give much more directed advice or feedback to our students so not to overwhelm them too much so we know for example what's the next skill that could be achieved given their rating so we could also right support them gradually on their next advancement of uh, of chess progress and obviously right i'm also very curious to hear your feedback about this for example what is your rating and did you actually also make the similar mistake as predicted by maya or me in this position so let's finish with this homework position folks given what you learned today it's black to move white's last one was h4 and i will give you two choices is it h6 or d5 in this position i want you to tell me the right move but not only the right move but i want you to tell me why that's the right move and what's the drawback of the other move that you ignore okay this will give you a chance to consolidate what you learned in this video and if you want to explore these concepts more please check out my course on chessable chess crime and punishment there's a separate chapter about opening or closing down the position exactly on the subject we touched today and also i will give you a chance to avoid the chess crime or punish the opponent's chess crime in such positions and again give me feedback how you like this video do these mistakes speak to you personally i'm very much curious about this and please give me a like or subscribe if you like this video and more similar content will follow in a short time thank you so much folks bye